Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Wayne Morris with WHHI TV. And I'm Will Ware. I'm with WHHI TV. And we are here at the uh, stable, the horse stables at uh, Spring Island. Uh, and our first two guests are our residents and members here at Spring Island, both horse enthusiasts, uh, Janet Engelbrecht and Lori Kinky. And they're going to tell us about uh, the stables and some of the other amenities here in, in Spring Island. And lastly, our third segment will feature John Strather, who's the broker in charge at Spring Island Realty. And he's going to tell us about a home site that's available a home feature that's available, and then to also talk about a new amenity that just got renovated. So, so stay with us. We'll be right back with 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where Bluffton comes to speak. Where Spring Island comes to speak. Where Hilton Head Island comes to speak. Where Port Royal comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to Eight Four Three TV. We are now joined by Janet Engelbrecht. She is a member here at Spring Island. Janet, thanks for joining us today. You're welcome. Hansen. So, tell us a little bit about how you came about to find Spring Island. We had some friends from Wisconsin who came to the area to retire and invited us to come and visit them at one point, and we fell in love with the low country, had never been here, and really explored all Hilton Head and the surrounding area and found that we really appealed to the nature side and not the large populated areas. Yeah, this place is definitely unique. <laughs> what was it that like initially drew, drew you to this, to this barn, to this to this Obviously, community? the horses, mm -hmm. um, the whole nature experience here, the, the get involved in many things with the fishing the natural, naturalist program, and um, just the, the low country feel, the no city feel, which is a great feeling when you are here for as long as we are for the winter. Bennett is a, a multidiscipline athlete, so you can, what are some of those other things that you, I mean, she has starring roles in many venues here, so you can well, see yeah. she's in her golf outfit, I'm in my right. I also participate a lot in the golf, um, have two dogs, then we participate in some dog training here, which is fun. Fitness center, um, classes, swimming, bike riding, just a multitude of things that are available. Yeah, the amenities here are unbelievable. I've had the pleasure of playing the golf course, and it's not a golf community, but the golf course is second to none. Right. I mean, it's I, very fun. I'm sure you had fun playing today. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Obviously. Did, did you end up at Spring Island first shot, or did you? You go somewhere else and then come here. No, we actually ended up somewhere else, close by, uh -huh. and came over to play golf. Yeah, and awesome. really loved the the whole area. And, and when the horse barn was an amenity, it really struck my interest because I had a horse in Wisconsin. Yeah, and was able to ride these gorgeous trails all day. Yeah, how many trails are there here anyway? I think there's 30 miles. Is it? Oh, wow. wow. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's different every day, saddle. I was out there yesterday and a lady was riding and I mean she was out on this like African savanna and then in the live oak parts I kept bumping into her and uh, she was just going on. It seemed so nice. It was just wonderful. Always a great place to spend re nice relaxing time whether you're with friends or by yourself. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh-huh. And prior to redoing any golf holes, we get to ride down the fairway canter down the fairway on our horse. So. <laughs> well, in the back nine, some of those view, bedding. looking over the it's water, amazing. breathtaking. Yeah. Kind of a trailblazing situation yes. there. <laughs> it was or. when they closed the golf course for renovation. Uh -huh. We were able to ride down the 11th fairway and onto the green. Oh, yeah. cool. And he all well, I know that y'all have a house or a cottage on Chichesi, and you own a lot here. Yes. And wasn't that hard integrating into this community when you just came over here and you're like, well, hey, here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. Well, you just participate. You, I get to know people at the, at the fitness center and pretty soon and you join the ladies golf. Uh -huh. Then you meet everybody is super friendly yeah. and you just get involved in all the things that are here. And obviously it's a kind of a little different group at the barn. Mm -hmm. Not so many golfers, but you get into the riding ladies and have fun doing everything that that's all involved in. Yeah. Number three. It seems like there's, you know, it's kind of what you make of it. I mean, it, there's 
seclusion if you want it, but there's also the social aspect if you want it as well, just by what you were saying, just participating and making yourself available. Absolutely, you can be in, in, involved as you want to. Yeah. If you don't want to be involved in anything, you can sit and read yeah. all day. <laughs> so you can make it what you want it. Yeah. Uh, so we spoke a little bit about your, your horse riding activity. What kind of riding do you do? Right now I ride um, hunter. And what does that mean? That's an English form okay. of a saddle seat, sort of a English saddle, okay. on, um, where it's po uh, posting involved in your trotting. Okay. Just a very relaxed, um, there's a lot of fox hunting in this area, so it is similar to that type of riding when you see the fox hunters. Yeah. That's cool. Like and so uh, for a, a, a rider of horses and, and a lover of horses, what appeals to you most about this community here at Spring Island? Just the fantastic opportunity you have to ride right outside of the barn to a different trail every day and it's always different and you don't have to put your horse in a trailer and mm -hmm. take them anywhere <laughs> right. and we have um, a lot of really nice activities the, the manager will plan um, a trail ride off-site we go to Hunting Island Beach mm. during the off-season and ride on the beach which is an opportunity a lot of people don't have especially yeah. on their own horse mm -hmm. and various programs and maybe some clinics that you'll do here so you always have a learning opportunity if you just if you want to if you want to just go out and ride you can just go ride <laughs> yep. tell us about your husband what is what is it that he does my husband is still working so he participates in the fitness center obviously the golf he is not a rider and so he's always busy doing something so obviously he's involved in his business also mm -hmm. So is he working down here? Does he travel back and forth or how does that work? He does a little bit of each. He does, he does travel to some local states where some of his salespeople are and he also works from any location. So it's his office down here. That's convenient. Very convenient. <laughs> well, um, you know, thank you so much for being with us and giving us some perspective on how you got here and, and what you do while you're here. Um, this stable, I can tell you, is just first class all the way. I know you enjoy keeping your animals here and, and coming to visit them regularly. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. And thank you. We'll be right back with more 843 TV. Welcome back to 843 TV. We are now joined by Miss Lori Kenke, who is a resident and member here at Spring Island. Thank you for joining us. You're quite welcome. So uh, you and your husband, Bruce, uh, mm -hmm. decided to move here to Spring Island from Bray's Island. Right. And uh, tell us what, uh, what motivated the move. Well, we still love Bray's Island. It was a wonderful place. We have great friends there. But for us, finding a community where nature and a nature preserve was clearly at the center of it rather than hunting preserve was just a better match for us. Gotcha. We also had, um, I was looking for a more intimate experience in terms of riding um, a barn that felt as if I could wrap my hands around it. Mm -hmm. And um, Bruce was a member of Chichesse, so he was driving a, a long distance right. to come. And he golfed here and thought that if he had these two golf courses at his footsteps, he was that would be enough. Enough. really, really out this throat. <laughs> so you mentioned so, riding. Tell mm -hmm. us about um, how you ride and, and the activities here that are here at the barn. Do you have three hours? <laughs> <laughs> that could be a whole other episode. Know, it's, <laughs> right. um, it's just, it's fabulous. We have miles and miles of trails. Um, I came to this very late in life. Um, I didn't get a horse until I retired. So many of the women and men here grew up riding. So I'm, I'm, I'm with this cadre of people who are just great about sharing. And I'm the, I'm the, I'm the like worker bee. <laughs> so I love the riding ring. We have a class A riding ring. Um, it can pour here in South Carolina and four hours later I can ride into oh, wow. this ring. It's, it's just fabulous for me. So I do all of my practicing in there. I do a little dressage. Um, there's a trainer who comes once a month up from Florida. I love the open environment here. She's very welcome as is any other trainer um, who would come. We have a multiplicity of riding. Um, we have all kinds of breeds of horses. They move differently. Some are gated, some are non-gated. Um, but everyone is encouraged to do what 
moves them. Yeah. And I love this, I should call attempt at dressage. <laughs> so this lateral movement and a little bit of dancing with my horse is fabulous for me. And there's the keeper of the stables right there. And down. here he is. <laughs> this is yeah. He's adorable. Well, I think somebody called him a mascot once and he was totally offended. So he is, he is actually the, um, he, he pretty much rules the rooster. He's a great little guy. How was the learning curve? You know, you said you didn't really own a horse until you were retired. Um, mm -hmm. But did that take a lot of time to? It's very steep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it just really is. I think that when you learn anything as a child, You're right. that's one experience. And uh, my very first riding lesson, not here, but in Minnesota, my trainer asked me to come to the three o'clock lesson. I had a five o'clock lesson with her and I got there and her student was five. And she said, <laughs> look at the way this young lady sits on this horse and emulate her at five at five well. o'clock. So, you know, it, it, it's humbling, but it's just, it's also so exciting to be doing something. I mean, I'm looking at, I'm not too far off in the future here, I'm looking at 70. And I'm, I'm doing something that I feel as if I am like an academic again. Right. So it just, I love every part of it. So That's even right. when it's hard, I love it. Mm -hmm. But when I get that one minute a month of, oh my God, we're airborne and the, <laughs> and the energy is coming from behind and it's flowing into him and back into my hands and through me and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and then I work really hard for another month to get Fantastic. another moment. So That's it's, awesome. It's cool. God, and what are you most passionate about at Spring Island? <laughs> It sounds oh. pretty passionate. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that obviously is a piece for me, but I don't know, over my life I've, I've been passionate about a number of things, education for many, many years, but um, what I have found here is probably more of a mission than a passion. And what, what I'm really looking to do here, and it's so easy to do, is every day find the extraordinary and the ordinary. Mm -hmm. And I find that here in nature at every turn. And increasingly, I find it in the people who live here. Our staff is just outstanding. And then I find about the things that they do in their other life. Mm -hmm. And I'm beginning to kind of like weave together all of that so that it feels good. We've been here about four and a half years now. Um, so it's a very special place. And like going back to all of the activities that Janet mentioned earlier, I think one of the things that I had to learn finally by maybe month 10 of my first year was no thank you. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> the invitations are endless and the opportunities are wonderful, but you also have to, I, you have to kind of find that balance that really works for you. Mm -hmm. And I love my own like quiet time too. Mm -hmm. So a walk in the woods with my dog or, you know, the simplest of things are often the very best here because- You cannot do everything. You can't, you yeah. can't. no, you can't, <laughs> you can't. I know, I think women mm -hmm. in particular in, in both of the places that we lived here in the South are a little cautious about, is this gonna be a playground for my husband? Or can I really right. find a life here? Yeah. All I can tell you is well, you, you'd have to learn to say no yeah. because it's, it <laughs> is, it's endless. It's so true. It's really endless. What are, what are some of the things that y'all do? I know y'all went up to Charleston to Steeplechase and had a nice... Uh, so those are some trip. of our... Off, I mean, we've been... We did a wonderful activity um, a year ago. We went to the Rolex and not only did 10 women from the barn come, but another 10 from the island who just wanted to kind of come and have the experience with yeah. us. So, mm -hmm. so where this is definitely its own venue, there are a number of people who come in and out of the barn. Um, lots of children come in and out of the barn, especially uh -huh. on holidays, which is, which is great. Yeah. And, you know, activity-wise. Book clubs, just, painting, ceramics. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm, I'm part of a book club mm -hmm. that, and just joined last Cards. year, and I've absolutely yeah. loved it. Um, and real quickly, um, you, you mentioned children and having their activities here. I, I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've been told I have to ask you about okay. Camp Spring Island on July 4th. Oh, it's, Tell us about that real it's, quick. It's just unbelievable. I mean, we do so many things with our grandchildren. I mean, it's just endless. But the 4th of July party last year, party parade, was paint a horse, decorate your bike, decorate your golf course, show up with the octogenarian leader of the of the parade and we marched from here down to the river house and it the was just so it, totally sure. joyous yeah my seven my seven-year-old grandchild has already said 
<laughs> Coming back next year. Come back. This is a huge this activity year. on the fourth. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Well, Lori, th it's thank huge. you very much You're for joining us. It was great to hear all your passion and uh, experiences here about Spring Island. It's a fabulous place. Mm -hmm. The biodiversity is amazing, and I'm not talking about the plants and <laughs> right, animals. right. Well, thank you, yeah. and thank you, for, and please join us for one more segment of 843 TV. Welcome back to 843 TV. It's now time for our real estate segment, which we have every month here on Spring Island's uh, episode of 843 TV. We're joined by John Strother, who is the broker in charge at Spring Island Realty. Thanks for being with us today. Oh, thanks for having me. So first I want to talk about a home site feature that you guys have. It's lot six at Bee Tree Drive. Tell us about that. Oh, that's a, that's a tired phrase, a fantastic home site. <laughs> uh, They're all pretty fantastic. I know they are. It's like, wow. <laughs> Um, it's about two and a half acres. It's a, a narrow lot that flares out onto a pond. It's called Deep Pond, mm -hmm. and it's just full with uh, brim, and it's looking down a par five. So you okay. have the pond and a par five. It's really unusual to have that clean, clear view here. Um, great trees, live oak trees, palmetto trees, Spanish moss hanging down. I mean, it's just really fantastic uh, sight, and uh, it's close to the golf club. Um, it's, it's about as nice as they uh, That's nice, nice to be that close to the golf course and have the pond right out in front if you want to fish or whatever. Yeah, and all that quiet and solitude. Uh, there are houses to each side of it, but you can't, like all the homes here, you can't see them there because of the nature curtains. And uh, it's just a really fantastic um, sight. We had um, uh, Frederick and Frederick. Um, they were here one day, and I was talking to them. I said, well, you ought to go by this site and look at it. I said, it's really neat. And... Uh, why don't you just kind of whip me up something, you know, whip yeah. up a home. <laughs> and uh, I don't you know, they're from Buford right. and it's a husband and wife team. And uh, so Michael said, oh, okay. And sure enough, a couple of days later, he sent, sent me this just gorgeous home. It's all glass, you know, viewing, viewing down the, the view feature with outdoor fireplaces, screened in porch, indoor fireplaces, just, just a really incredible modernistic structure because I wanted to show something that was different from right. what most people consider to be the Spring Island style, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just fantastic to work with. Um, really innovative people. And what's the, I'm sorry, go ahead. Has Frederick and Frederick designed uh, other homes out here on Spring Island? They have. They've designed mm -hmm. quite a few. Have they? Yeah, and they're all different. They're all specific to the person, and so they encourage the person to be to get what they want, not to pull back and be sure. like every every house around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Some of these communities, you kind of think that they, everybody's uh, all the homes have been. Uh, cut from the same mold, so yeah. it's it's great to see some individualistic yeah. uh, approaches to the to the homes. Exactly, and to deal with somebody that just is so encouraging, right? Because uh, uh, they both are Michael and Jane are just they're fantastic. And, uh, and what is the list price on that lot? That's a big one. That's fifty thousand so dollars. Okay. That's, uh, you know, that's a that's a real buy. Yeah, that's yeah. a great deal. It is. Yeah. And now let's talk about another uh, home, mm -hmm. uh, a home feature on the uh, on Spring Island here called the Trust Home. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, uh, this is a real interesting scenario. Um, uh, we have uh, a man here who's a very generous, um, very generous guy. Um, he moved here 20 years ago. He likes to tell the story that he came here, people trying to get him to come here because of the nature aspect and everything. This would be perfect for you, Joe. You should come here. And, so he came and he liked it. He went to a party and woke up the next morning. He had a contract in his pocket. He bought a, <laughs> bought a lot. And, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> he tells that story all the time. It must be true. And they lived here 20 years. And he was the first president of the Spring Island Trust. Okay. And that's the people that oversee our nature preserves and uh, the art programs and all that. And um, so um, he moved to Charleston to be closer to medical care and things like that. And um, he just decided to donate his home to the trust. Wow. And so the trust said, well, here, what do we do for this? And uh, right. I said, well, let's put it on the market. We'll, um, we'll have some open bids for it, you know, and we'll just examine which is the, um, which is the best bid. And so uh, for the next week, uh, it'll be on the market. We've had uh, several offers come in already. And it's just a, you know, that's a wonderful gift. I mean, it's listed at nine ninety five. dollars um, for him to give to the Spring Island Trust. He believes in it so much. He's just such a great, 
classy guy. You know, that's the kind and of that speaks to the passion that the residents yeah. have for this place. Well, it is. I mean, you heard that in yeah. Janet and um, and Lori. Mm -hmm. you just they people love this place. Wow. They can't get enough. Um, the first time we ever taped here, we were at the River House, which is right down the road uh -huh, here. Yeah. And um, I wanted to, you to talk about some amenities that, that, that are here, and that's one that's kind of a hot topic right now. So tell us what's going on with the River House. It is. We, um, um, we're running three, three months behind schedule on the uh, redo, and it just got finished. Uh, we've almost finished it now. And uh, it was a complete redo. And the River House is our dining facility, and the gathering room is where people go just to... Um, just to read the paper and hang out and play cards mm -hmm. and have uh, informal meetings and things like that. So we're on the river. It's this old building. It's, it looks like an old building. It's only 20 years old. Mm -hmm. um, wood walls, all the works of art in there, original works of art that came from our uh, visiting artist program here. The visiting artists always leave a work of art. So that's just chock full of just wonderful artwork. And we just redid the whole place and added a bar. Uh, there was no bar here. And um, so we had this real nice bar for casual seating and it's a series of rooms. So you have the bar, so that's our most casual dining. And then you come on up here, we have two or three rooms. And the farther back you get, the more formal the dining mm -hmm. gets and the more formal the decorating gets. Yeah. So, uh, the well, room. it was really nice before. And yeah. how, what was the renovation? I think it was around a million and a half dollars. So uh, I can't imagine there. what it looks like now. I can't wait to tape there next time. Next week yeah. uh, we'll, or next month we'll be doing that. And uh, Jay Banks Design. Um, and they're top notch, obviously. Yeah, did the design work. And um, uh, Fraser Construction did the construction. They did a fantastic job. And so we did it during what's our high season. So this is all going on, you know, while people are here and everything. And it really lent um, an air of excitement here, you know, because Usually you try to do things in the off season so people don't see the, the work yeah, that goes right. into it. Something new is always exciting. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. It's fantastic. Well, so. we've really enjoyed being here today and the, the stables are beautiful and um, people at home, well, I'm sure, will see that and just know what a special deal this is here to be a part of this and be a member. So thank you for having us again. Well, it's my pleasure. Yes, sir. And thank you for watching 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Wayne Morris, with WHHI TV. <laughs> You're spoiled, aren't you? <laughs> so be sure you stick with us. We'll be right back with 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. <laughs> He's fighting back, isn't he? <laughs>